Forget the Biden circus. The real headline story today is a pro-growth America first Trump platform a week ahead of the Milwaukee convention. That's what I think. It's Trump's platform issues that are going to decide the election. And that's the subject of the riff. At the moment, the major media frenzy is whether President Biden's going to drop out of the race. For what it's worth, I don't think he will. In Mr. Biden's own words, the Lord Almighty, it's not going to come down. Let me add, you can bet on that one. But all this Biden speculation should not be permitted to obscure the fact that the Republican National Committee, a week ahead of the Milwaukee convention, has just adopted and released former President Trump's 2024 Republican Party platform. It was out about 90 minutes ago. This is today's real headline story, if you ask me. The platform carries the same kind of message that Mr. Trump has been successfully talking about for the last several years. It's pro-growth, pro-opportunity. It aims to close the southern border and restore an America first standing in the world. Peace through strength. The document is short, pithy, and right to the point. Some of the highlights include worker tax cuts, and by the way, no tax on tips, that's in there, stopping Bidenflation, restoring energy dominance, ending unfair trade deals, keeping the U.S. dollar as the world's reserve currency, especially important for strong growth and low inflation. Wall Street, will you finally listen? Restore America's status as the dominant world energy producer, cancel the electric vehicle mandate, and cut all costly and burdensome regulations. Sealing the border, stopping the illegal migrant invasion, and deporting illegals. Keeping men out of women's sports, and radical racial and sexual woke policies out of schools. The platform also states, and I'm going to quote, Unite our country by bringing it to new and record levels of success. End quote. These are the message points that have proved so popular on the campaign trail. These are exactly the themes that Mr. Trump has used to organize a working class coalition of black Americans, Hispanics, Asians, young people, and women. These were policies to successfully build on Mr. Trump's first term as president. Policies that Art Laffer is going to be here in just a moment has called one of the best policies of any first-term president. Tax cuts, deregulation, energy independence, superb Supreme Court picks, good trade deals, strong national security, including the Abraham Accords. So, today, amid 20% Bidenflation, an affordability crisis with falling real wages and high mortgage and credit card borrowing costs, the nationwide crime and public safety ravages of Biden's illegal immigration catastrophe and raging fires overseas, most folks know that they were better off four or five years ago. And that is Mr. Trump's message. Success is the best uniter. And that is tonight's riff.